So let's start with that cloud passport. Craig, what's that all about? We thought about this a lot, and what we realized is that a customer who wants to manage their own environment probably has some top-level careabouts. The first would be that the software is going to work. So that has to be assured from a testing perspective. So the first value add that Cadence can bring to that deployment model is to make sure that our software will work well in the approved environments. And what we have currently certified are AWS, Azure, and a Google Cloud platform. We've taken our tools, we've deployed them, we've run them, we've done security analysis on the services, and we feel any customer who wants to use those three is certainly going to have a good experience. It doesn't mean that we wouldn't consider supporting others. It's just that these three actually constitute the majority of the requests that we get. So that's one thing that we do. The other thing that customers care about is, well, how will the tool perform in the cloud compared to maybe how it would perform in my own server farm? Well, to make the tools better, we started re-architecting them starting many years ago, actually. As you can imagine, Changing the architecture of an EDA tool isn't something you can do overnight. There's so many elements of a given piece of software that have to be carefully constructed and coordinated to make that happen. So starting four or five years ago, we began that process. And now you'll see that the tools that Cadence makes available are highly parallelized. Now, why is that good? Well, highly parallelized means can utilize lots and lots of compute. Where is there lots and lots of a compute? It's in the cloud. So the fit architecturally is really good with our products. The other thing that we can do for a customer who wants to deploy in their own cloud environment is make sure that they've got the license server that makes sense for them. So a license server is a key piece of enablement that's required in order for any EDA tool to run. And When a customer deploys in an on-prem environment, that license server sits right there in their data center. But when they want to utilize the cloud, there's a choice that they would have to make. Do I add a second license server that can run in the cloud, or do I try to run from the same license server that sits on-prem? Our advice is to add a second license server, put that license server in the cloud right next to the software where the software is running, so that the tools never have a dependency on a network connection that would go outside the cloud, back across the internet, through a company's firewall to a server that may or may not actually be available. So that's what we mean when we say a cloud-based license server for higher reliability. So those are some of the key things that Cadence brings to the table. The other thing that we did, and we announced this at DAC last year in 2019, we put together a collection of partners that we call Passport Partners. And these are companies who specialize in taking high-performance computing to the cloud. We worked specifically with a subset of the companies that do this. We wanted to work with companies who had experience with EDA and who specifically had traction with Cadence customers. So you'll see in that bigger picture that we looked at previously, a small circle that contains a lot of different logos, but these companies can help any of our customers have a successful experience at moving to the cloud. It's not a cadence managed solution, it's gonna still be their solution, but they can get some advice, assistance, and in many cases, even enablement software that makes that experience a little bit easier. So that's the Cloud Passport. It's available for use with any of our cadence products, and it's a good option for companies who really want to control every aspect of their cloud experience.